Welcome to the Elevate Media Podcast with your host, Chris Anderson. In this show, Chris and his guests will share their knowledge and experience on how to go from zero to successful entrepreneur. They have built their businesses from scratch and are now ready to give back to those who are just starting. Let's get ready to learn, grow, and elevate our businesses. And now your host, Chris Anderson. But I want to talk to you guys about how we can escape our program mindset. And so many people deal with this. I dealt with it. I've talked to so many people who have dealt with it and have helped um, some people overcome it. But the big thing is that we are so programmed. We're so in just line with how we need to live our lives. And that's go to school, we get a job, we work, we retire, uh, and hope we have enough to sustain us the rest of the time. But so many times people, we talk to them, I talk to people that are just not happy. They're not They don't have that joy, that spark. They're just going through the motions uh, and not fulfilled with their life. And we have to realize that we're not created for that. We're created with a special purpose and with passions and and with talents. And and we're not using those abilities. We're not seeking out a life based around what we're created to do. And so the big things we, we, or I talk to people about three things. Uh, They don't see their potential. They don't believe in themselves. They don't know what their passions are because they've just been following the leader for so long. And then if they do know those first two, they don't know where to begin in building this life of fulfillment. And so first, seeing your potential, knowing that you're created for more than what you're you're possibly doing right now. Maybe you're in what you are created to do, and that's awesome. So you've got the first thing. But if not, like seeing what you've been created uh, to do. So understanding that your purpose is more than maybe your nine to five, or maybe it's just in a different direction in your in a nine to five, but understanding that you were created with so much more potential than what you're, you're probably being utilized for right now, especially if you have this feeling of like, okay, I just, I'm not in alignment. I'm not doing what I need to be doing. I'm not doing what I'm supposed to be doing. I'm missing something in life. And so Understanding that is the first part is knowing that you have more potential and that you can do a lot more in life and not being scared of that. The second is knowing your passions. So what brings you joy? What energizes you? What gets you out of bed excited to to go to work, to go throughout your day and do? So I love and it gives me energy. I love talking with people about their passions, about their dreams and goals and helping them put pieces together plans together, strategies together, helping them learn what it takes to build that life around their passions, that life of fulfillment. So that's what brings me energy. And that's why I created and started doing what I do now is is coaching and helping people do that same thing, seeing their passion, seeing their potential, and then starting to build a life around that. Because man, it just, it fills me up. It gets me going. I love, love seeing people taking the actions towards those passions and their potential. Because really, that's how we're going to make a difference. That's how we're going to change the scenario. The world is if we're living a life aligned with our passions and our potential, the, the positive mark we're going to be able to leave is, is so much more. And if everyone's doing that, or a majority of people are doing that and taking the having the courage to take those steps, then so much more good and positivity is going to come from it because we're all going to be aligned with what we're trying to do and what we're supposed to be doing. So that's the second thing. The third is, and maybe you don't know where to begin and how to start building that life of fulfillment. Obviously, the first couple of things you want to do is, is know your potential, know what passions you have, and then just start by finding someone who can guide you and can help you along that path. Okay. Uh, I have a coach. Always will, no matter what, because there's always going to be someone who knows more, who's done more, uh, or has done or or is doing what I want to get to. So being able to humble, humble ourselves and find those individuals that can help us to the next level, that's the first step. And then taking action. We can wish and we can think and we can dream about what we want every day, all day. But unless we're taking the right positive actions to, to build that life, nothing's going to happen. So so actions, making sure our habits are, are healthy, uh, not just physically, but mentally, emotionally. Make sure we're, we're putting those in our day, whether it be meditation, prayer, uh, reading, time of reflection, journaling. Those things all are positive actions that we can take to help ourselves grow. And then towards that passion. So what is it? 
maybe you're wanting to build a business around children's books, for example. I've had a I had a client talking about children's books, wanted to do that. So we've been putting a plan. So what actions do you need to do to write a children's book, to market that, to share that with people? And then can you utilize a platform or communication to help other people interested in the same thing? So you're taking your passion um, and being able to put it out there for people to get the benefit from, but then there probably are other people who have that same kind of passion or in line with that in some way that you can then help you can be their mentor and coach in that regard. So whether it be writing a children's book or speaking um, to children or just helping learn or teach children. And so you've got to start then taking and putting a process together and taking action on it. Uh, you can't just continue to plan and strategize without action because then you're not going to get anywhere and you're just going to be kind of uh, treading water, you're gonna be stuck in the mud, you're just gonna be tired, you're just gonna be spinning, but you're not gonna go anywhere. So gotta take the action. So guys, remember, uh, you have potential. Uh, you have a passion if you don't know what it is yet. Um, and then you can take the steps to start building that life of fulfillment. So get escape from that program mindset uh, and start really putting those actions doing those actions to get you to that life of fulfillment. And it doesn't have to be where it's a, it's a complete shift um, and you, you step away from nine to five. It could just be a part-time thing. It could be where you really love dogs. And so you just start volunteering more to get that joy, to get that passion. Um, but then you can always build into something else as well. It's opportunity is always there. So don't sell yourself, sell yourself short. Um, uh, really just find your passion, know your potential, and start building that life. Thank you for listening to the Elevate Media Podcast. Don't forget to subscribe and leave a review. See you in the next episode.